For months now, the Biden administration has been talking out of both sides of its mouth about Title 42, the Trump era COVID related immigration policy, which allows officials to swiftly expel migrants at the southern border. On the one hand, they've been fighting to end the policy in court. But on the other hand, they've been using Title 42 to control the flow of migrants along the border. It's been a sort of disingenuous dance with the White House trying to appease its progressive base by a show of trying to get rid of Title 42 while understanding the reality on the ground that they need it. And it came to a sort of absurd head at a press conference yesterday with the White House press secretary. Now, with a looming court order that will seemingly bring an end to Title 42 comes the reality that thousand more migrants will cross every day. And so now the administration frantically trying to distance itself from the end of a policy that they fought to end. After all, not only has the Biden administration been using Title 42, they've expanded its use beyond Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador to apply it to Venezuelans as well. Now, they got a bit of a reprieve yesterday, or they would claim a setback, when Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts stepped in to pause the lifting of Title 42, which was scheduled for Wednesday. But it's still very likely Title 42's days are numbered, and again, that's thanks to the Biden administration's challenge, an administration which continues to use Title 42. Now, Title 42 was originally intended as a way to control the spread of COVID-19 in the U.S., but it's been used well beyond that to limit an expected rush of migrants overwhelming border control officials. In order to appease the base, the Biden administration hid behind the CDC, lifting the policy while seemingly hoping the courts would rule against them. But on November 15th, the U.S. District Court judge in D.C. blocked the use of Title 42, calling it, quote, arbitrary and capricious. 19 GOP-led states appealed the order, and now the lifting of Title 42 is temporarily on hold due to the Supreme Court ruling. And so that allows the administration to continue to use it as they have. But yesterday, right before the Supreme Court stepped in, the White House reached a new level of hypocrisy on this issue, when Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre was pressed by Fox News correspondent Jackie Henrich, Heinrich about the soon-to-be-ended policy. It's part of a briefing in which the White House spelled out its post-42 plan to control the border, which mostly involved pointing the finger at Republicans in Congress. Heinrich confronted Jean-Pierre, and the press secretary's response was sort of nonsensical. We remain. We're, we remained under a court order to lift Title 42. That is Aren't a court order. That, that is a court order that is telling us to lift Title 42, and we're going to comply because we follow the rule of law. But the that is sought to lift. That it. is, but it is a court order. But that is that started by you guys. It was a court order that has been provided to us, and so now we have to comply. And that is, we have to comply by December 21st. It is. It is a law so that has been you don't court. court? What I'm saying is that I, what I'm saying that it is a court order that has been presented to us that we are going to comply with. What? The court order exists because they asked for it. This refusal to admit that they need Title 42, that they've needed it all along, is the part that gets me. At the end of a long, rambling response, which didn't even come close to answering the question, Jean Pierre added this. Title 42 is going to be lifted. Yes, it will. But there, we are going to move to Title 8. The border is not open. And so I want to be very clear about that because we were doing the smuggler's job if we spread misinformation. Title 8, the policy that John Pierre is claiming will seamlessly replace 42, allows for a much lengthier process to adjudicate claims of asylum. Title 42, the whole point of it is that it allowed you to quickly expel migrants. The idea that Eight is going to function the same way. It's just silly. Now, today, even as they're advocating for the end of Title 42 in court, they are fighting to delay lifting it. In a filing to the Supreme Court just hours ago, the administration said, quote, the government respectfully requests that if the court denies the application before December 23rd, it leave the current administrative stay in place until 1159 on December 27th. So basically, they're... And they're asking that the judge's ruling that they requested be delayed again. You can't make this up. The White House strategy all along has been to hide behind the CDC, the DOJ, the courts. 
Go back to March, just a few weeks before the CDC announced its plans to lift Title 42. White House Communications Director Kate Bedingfield put the blame all on the CDC. So first what I would say is that uh, this is a decision that we have long deferred to CDC. Title 42 is a public health directive. It is not an immigration or migration enforcement measure. So the decision on when to lift Title 42, we defer to the CDC. Um, that being said, of course, we are planning for uh, multiple contingencies. And now the time has come for those contingencies. But the Department of Homeland Security has offered up little beyond vague talk about working with allies, et cetera. In El Paso, Texas, the mayor has declared a state of emergency due to the potentially dramatic influx of migrants post-Title 42. Border agents have encountered more than 2,500 migrants per day over the past few weeks. DHS estimates that, that, estimates that number could go as high as 14,000 per day after Title 42 is lifted. The White House painted itself into a corner on this. Title 42 is not an ideal policy. Pointing to COVID as the reason to expel immigrants en masse now is totally disingenuous. But it is the best and only thing we have right now. Congress won't act, and I don't think they will act on this. And nothing I have said should take away from Congress's responsibility. We need legislation. By the way, there's a great bipartisan compromise being considered that probably won't see the light of day. But we simply can't have the borders get overrun. At the least, we can ask the administration to be straight with us about it.